Diversity. When I think of Florida, I think that Tampa, Miami, and Orlando are not a part of it. Um, Because they have so many different uh, people from all over, different cultures and cities. Lots of people from New York here. Um, So like a big melting pot, really. I think of food and diversity also. Gyros. Let's be me. Gyros. Gold, Tom G, and talent. Tom G, of course. Um, he just embodied what it is to be a Tampa Indian. He's on an X album. He is on BT this year. It's very hard to when you don't say Tampa, don't say him. Probably Cuban sandwiches, because, you know, he boys got the best. I know I got him a hoodie, but bitch is hot. <laughs> As hell. <laughs> A lot of unity, like whether it's like out at parties or any type of functions, it's always like community affair. My mother, my friends, and then my music. My family. I spend a good deal of time raising my family in Tampa, so that's I think the person that comes to me. I think of like our creativeness, pops of color, fun. We have a lot that people just don't know about. It's not out there. It's like it's a bunch of hidden talent everywhere, every corner. I find, I find somebody new talented on the internet from Tampa every day. It's a lot of talent. I can say that. Once you're able to see the scene, like how you can really see the scene, Tampa go crazy. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Me growing up, like around the time from I was in, shit was like real wild. Like I grew up in the middle of Drop City. So I, I remember being in like seventh grade and I to this day I never seen so much money in my life, bro. Like when drops was a thing, everybody had like those um, cars and all different colors and big tires. Well big rims. Um my dad painted those cars. So every time I see one, I'll be like, my daddy painted that. I remember going to the fair every year. I remember when they started bringing green team to the fair because niggas was fighting all the time, bro. The parties, definitely the parties. Kanye era, oh my gosh, niggas would be in big ass gym shorts, big ass t-shirts with socks, no shoes, going down hard, we would tie. Summers during my middle school years, I really got to know more about Tampa. Um, the music, joking, um, I first heard Strizzo, and um, just really got a taste of the culture, so those are my favorite years growing up. I would say 2012, like time period, like when I just graduated. It was just now transitioning into some more experimental shit in music. Like people was not afraid to do more weird shit, quote unquote weird shit, like weirdest to preference. It was a time of experimentation, like around here, the scene around here, we were doing more different weird stuff and I was just starting. And it was just a chance for everyone to just figure out what they want to sound like. I feel like I'm living in my favorite era. I opened up one of my dreams. I opened up a recording studio. Like, yeah, now it's probably my favorite era. In a nostalgic sense, I say my favorite era was when the Bucks was winning. When the Bucks had a winning record. Uh, it was something in the city that was different. Be lying around like selfish and all that shit. And just seeing the city and the skyline, it doesn't like, really resonate with me. You know, I can like, have flashbacks and that shit today. Like, like I said before, like, I can think of home and all that shit. Like, I can think of home. It split between as a child in Temple Park, I was a summer camp I went to, and teenage years, Temple Bay Tech, because I mean, Tech, 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 like, <laughs> that's a lot of memories there. Summertime as a kid, as a jit, you know, fuck shit. And um, probably went through high school, Big Jefferson shit, you know, J Boy, J Boy, J Boy. Being in high school, going to the fair, that's like the greatest moment ever. I think catching grasshoppers in elementary school and putting them in water bottles and making their own little ecosystem happen. Related a lot when I was in middle school actually. My eighth grade year at Middleton High School. And um, I had a lot of fan and a lot of good friends there. I experienced some new things, you know, there's a lot of organizations that I got exposed to there and I had a good time. Just going to downtown's always fun, the water, you get to go boating or 
you know, it's good food. So. I think the, the most favorite memory I have is swimming at midnight in the pool on the 4th of July with my children and my nieces and nephews and just really enjoying life. Yeah. A lot of my uh, childhood memories are more to Temple Terrace. I really enjoyed the community. I, you know, all the kids were really tight knit. You know, 4th of July, everyone would get together. There's a parade in the city, uh, fireworks, and um, that's really where I met my closest friends. The November Fest is really low key. Like, unless you live in that area, you most likely don't know about it or like what is happening and stuff. So that was really cool. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. One of the most underrated things about us, probably the level of talent. The artistry, bro. The artistry, like, that's my favorite part. I mean, to be honest, nobody's really blown. You got Tom, you got Tampa, Tony, J. Creek, but nobody really set up a pipeline as far as industry, right? Everybody a rapper, everybody a singer, you know, everybody a poet, but nobody really set themselves up. So I think the most understated thing is our level of talent and what we can do if we just had opportunities. I always meet someone really dope and then they say they're from Tampa and I'm so shocked because I feel like there's not enough publicity about, you know, different artists, stylists, designers, um, really dope people that are from the city or have at least grown up here. The talent in Tampa is very underrated, um, especially when I travel to other cities like Miami, um, go to Atlanta, Orlando. Um, you see those people are far different from us. They just might have resources of people that back them. But talent is, there's no lack of talent in Tampa. There might be more so, more talent in Tampa than any other city. It's crazy because you'll always hear about them after they leave the city and there's just not enough. Just respect given to the talent that is here while they're here. I think our music scene is heavily underrated and we've got several people here that are going to be key figures in like, the near future. Jordan Patrick. For sure. If you really like look in these niches and kindness, it's so as big as families and just it's open. Like I love being an artist because everybody's so accepting. You can be yourself, you know. So I think that's really underrated about us. There's a lot of good food out here, actually. I'm a food connoisseur. That's what I do. There's a shop in Port Tampa called VT's, best Cuban I have had in my life. I went to Miami. It's not the same. I love the development of like Riverwalk. The ability to kind of take advantage of the outdoors and really like enjoy it with a beautiful river behind you, I think it's underrated. People, people think that we're just a bunch of ratchet people. A mix of hood and class. There's a lot of things in Tampa if you dig a little deeper that a lot of people at the surface level don't see. People don't know about Tampa Bay as a city, but they will. Dear Tampa. Uh, dear Tampa. I don't know if it's one thing. I think it's a culmination of a few things. Um, I take pride in how bold we are in Tampa. Um, Our arts, you know, I've, uh, I've dedicated a lot of my life and my resources to the arts for myself and for others. I care about this a lot. When you meet the right people, they really support you. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like a lot of people here, they have a lot of drive. They have a lot of passion for what they do. Depending on what type of person you is, we got clubs you can go to. We got like little spots you can go to. We got food places you can go to. Whether it be fashion, whether it be certain things, like people who are from Tampa, Tampa fashion is it's just a thing. Same thing with music, same thing with culture, like the foods that we eat. I think the only good food place you probably can't find is like, nothing, got him. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> A lot of times we travel and think we're gonna see like the same things or publixes and uh, how we get off certain fits, but that's all Tampa. Like, that's a Tampa thing. But like family owned restaurants or family owned businesses. And they know that Northside niggas didn't know about Cuban sandwiches and like Cuban bread, like past Florida. Like they don't got Cuban bread. I do not know that. I think the pride is in being from Tampa, just claiming Tampa, like being other places. I don't know, especially Tally. Like when I'm in Tally, where you from? Tampa. Throw my threes up off oh, real. Like, you don't know. It's, I think that's the pride itself, just saying Tampa. Like, bitches know. Like, off oh, real.
you know, just being close to everything in Florida because we're in the middle. So we can go up to Tallahassee and we can go to Miami and go to Orlando. Personality and capability is so diverse here. So you get like a lot of um, qualities from different types of people and the environment that you have. Tampa has a hood environment, it has an upscale environment, it has everything. Tampa's very like acceptable for people to move down. Everybody keeps saying we have so much potential and that it's not unlocked yet. Part of me don't like that, but part of me do, because we, we have something to prove. It's like, we just waiting on like, that one. I think we have the best time. Just no one knows you. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Something I like to see change. It's easy to say the violence, but that's just, that's a part of cycles. But the, the, the love, I want to see more love, because like I say, with everybody having talents, everybody being creative in some way, that should be the biggest platform for us to come together. You know what I'm saying? Like, just all real, just because everybody want to make music, everybody want to be a dancer, that should be, be the biggest jail. So the level of love, for sure. But we should really get back to giving back to each other, taking care of people around us. You have to take care of people around you first. Like, this home, how are you gonna, how are you gonna go build somewhere else? And you don't even look back. Like, I, I think it's going to take more than just one person for that to go on. It's going to take a group effort. And as long as people have the right mind, the same goal, common, I think it's, it's doable. We have so many different areas, sub-cities that are kind of like knit together to form Tampa. Um, it's easy for some or others to be more marginalized. And so I think it's really important that we continue to boost this aspect of community across the entire city, you know? You know understanding we all come from this city and we gotta kind of have each other's backs in a way and there's no reason to tear each other down. Um, I definitely agree that there's a lot of hate in Tampa. It's weird because it seems to be fabricated by love. I think that I would like to see a lot of people come together more. I think there's enough room at the top for everybody, and I think that the strength comes in numbers. And I think that's something that could be worked on. I want to see Tampa have a definitive stamp that people from other places know Tampa as its own entity. And more exposure, because Tampa's kind of low key right now. Like, yeah, they're putting in new buildings, but when people think of like Florida, they think of Orlando or Miami. But Tampa's Tampa's on a new wave. I think it's just. You know, more people are coming in, and I don't know, I just, I just feel like it's low-key. There's so many self-made businesses in Tampa. There's so many artists, there's so much talent, you know what I'm saying, in Tampa alone. Tampa deserves to have a name, like a stamp. Like, you know Tampa, not just for like, you know, Bush Gardens, bro. Like, you know Tampa for Tampa, you know? I would like to see um, a lot more art, like it's a building. I think it's on like Franklin Street or something like that. It's a building that has like a whole, whole bunch of art on it. And I just want to see like more of that around the city. I would really like to see uh, a bigger art and music scene and more um, just historical and cultural um, museums. We, we have a few, but we don't have that many. I think that's one of the things that I really miss from where I grew up is the ability to really like study the history and just um, take in the art um, and I know that there is a lot of art and music flourishing here but it's not it's not cohesive and it's, if you're not plugged into someone in the scene it's kind of hard to identify so I'd like to see that grow. Um, I'll definitely say showmanship. Um, like I said Tampa is a great place but sometimes we don't present it in a way that is not going to say easily digestible but we can we can go out of our way more to make the shows better and make uh, the music a little bit better, videos better. Um, like I said, we got all the talent in the world. We just gotta scrounge up like resources and make it where it's uh, it's shown in a better light. I would say the standard of music definitely. We don't have a standard at all. Typically, it's kind of just whoever we're making the hot shit. We like to base ourselves on other people and kind of whoever got the hottest sound and we kind of get that and we die off because that sound died off. But nobody had that true standard of like real feeling music. 
nobody has given it yet. Well, a couple people have, but it's not as been respected yet, so I would definitely change the culture. I would definitely like to see us get louder about our city. Um, I would like to see us Seems like your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. I would just like to be remembered, honestly. 
Like, no matter what, I just want to be remembered. Because I know me, at the end of the day, I'm going to do something positive. But at the end of the day, I want to be remembered as, like, real. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. West Tampa, there is a place that is called Conan's Barbecue. A true OG staple. Yes, sir. First kitchen. Sign the first kitchen. Sign the first kitchen. Oh, top of the head. I feel like Eddie and Sam's, the pizza place downtown. Okanola. Shit, nah, uh, I'm Jamaican, so I'm Jerry Cut. Memorials. But I'm gonna serve this crab because I love seafood and it be spicy and good. But if I had to say, like, exactly, I don't know if it's a Tampa thing, but like, I fuck Mr. Mr. Crab. Right, Eddie's and Sam's. Capital Bro. That place is the lobster mac and cheese. I'm a seafood guy, if it's in the sea, it's for me. Ah, gut things. I had it yesterday for the first time. This is Cuban. I don't know, this Cuban sandwich shop. That's on, like, I don't know, Nebraska? I think it is. They probably got the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had in like all the Florida. Okay. My favorite place to eat in Tampa? Um, I want to say Gyro. <laughs> um, my favorite place, there's a lot of good places to eat in Tampa, but I really love Riverside. Um, you already know the answer to that one. Gyro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Soul Food Spot on MLK and near 34th. Columbia. But Jay's has some food. Gyros, part of the culture. Um, Petra, very good Middle Eastern food. And like that is he thought, big Cuban shit. I'm not Cuban, but then my cousins from across the island, you feel me? Shout out to y'all. That shit fine. Me too. The right steli, they have amazing sandwiches there. Uh, I think it's Procado, so that's like, um, they have a great breakfast. And it's something that I, it's a Tampa specific double crab egg something. It's just really good and um, kind of hidden treasure, often in like a place you wouldn't expect it to be, but really good. Yeah. Burning Barbecue and Hibachi Express. What's your favorite place to eat in Tampa? that's not even. I don't, I don't think it's a debate on that one. You want straight to Uh, Cuban spot on. Manhattan, Valleto, bro, listen, you going down? Where you get that? That white rice, the black beans, the plantanos, and either that beef stew or that chicken stew. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life forever. Dear Tampa, dear Tampa, who's the best artist in Tampa? What? <laughs> Visually, I'll do a couple and then I'll do uh, audio. So, painters, Sebastian Coolidge, uh, Junkyard. Um, musically, I think there's a band called the Jackets. I think this is super overlooked. Um, it would be cocky for a change. I think I deserve to be on that list. Mike Mass, Jordan Patrick, Patrick Hughes. In general, I gotta give it a ton. Um, I can name a few, I can't name just one. Um, I'm a big fan of Patrick Hughes, Sam Hughes. I'm a huge Buddy Dog fan. Um, I'm a me fan. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do that, that. I ain't messed the money, I ain't messed the business up, man. Heavy J. Yeah, <laughs> I don't wanna be generic and say me because I feel like I have a ways to go myself. But as an artist, you should believe that you're the best, so I kinda do. But I will say, everybody in the outside world, we fire as fuck, we on your ass. Now the most heavy to Well, it's gotta be the Black Ace, of course. And who is the best artist in town? Come on, it's Jay Sassy. Tom G. Cyrus, Cyrus Guy. Blue Painters. I don't believe in competition like that. I feel like we should all 
um, uplift each other and not say who's the best and who's not. We're all the best. We all give the best of everything in Tampa. Like, we all create the Tampa scene. Nobody's the best. You get me, I'm artist. I do for you. But I'm the best nigga I Musically, I'm gonna have to say Betty Doll because she's like my birthday twin. Uh, Swipe, Chris, R.I.P. Uh, Frankie X, Richie Guapo, Betty Suo, um, Indy Indigo. I could probably keep going, but those are some people right now that are really popping. Cheers, awesome. <laughs> Jay Brown is the best artist, period. Whether it's Tampa, Atlanta, like the kid has bars, he has talent, he's had it since he was a kid, and um, that's just that. Just like, you know what I'm saying? You got your Cindy Hughes, Gats, Mike Mads, you know what I'm saying? Then you got like people like Big King, Hayes, Young Sumo, you know what I'm saying? And then you got like, then you got like, fucking, then it's like a whole nother sound from like, that that's, that came from like what years ago. It's really hard to, to really like the time of the best rapper, the best artist in town. If I was just saying myself, I'm completely confident in it, so. JSS. I feel like. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa. Dear Tampa.